Oh my goodness, good morning everyone. How are we doing? All right, there's the three shoes. I did something last night that I've never done before on the vlog. I put it to a vote for which shoe I would test next for all of you. So here they are, the Hoka Arahi, Arahi, Arahi 4, there it is, Hoka Arahi 4, the Saucony Kinvara 11, and the Asics Evo Ride, the little brother to the Asics Glide Ride. So I put it to a vote on Twitter and on Facebook, and a lot of votes came in. I think over 500 votes. Let me pull up. Okay, drum roll. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Okay, here's the craziness, craziness. 294 votes on Twitter, and here's the breakdown. Saucony Kinvara 11, 33.3% of all the votes. Asics Evo Ride, 32.7% of all the votes. And the winner on Twitter is the Hoka Arahi 4 with 34% of the vote, of the 294 vote, votes. But remember what I said, I'm also gonna post it on Facebook, so I gotta hop over to Facebook real quick and pull it up. So, on Facebook, it was quite a bit different. The winner, 100%, is yes, with 136 people voting for the Saucony Kinvara 11 is the winner. The Hoka Arahi 4 was in second place with 101 votes. And then third on Facebook was the Asics Evo Ride. So that means first impression of the Saucony Kinvara 11 is coming at you today here on the vlog. Let's lace it up. Go get the first impressions of this shoe. Oh, we have never done this before. I love, I love innovation. You know what I'm always talking about, innovation. We will do more of this where you get to decide the next running shoe. That was a Ferrari. It's a nice neighborhood, nice neighborhood. Let's rock and roll. First impressions, not my full review. That'll happen after 50 miles. And there, there's the Kinvara 11 over there on the shelf. And let's just say my gut is telling me we're gonna get to 50 miles in this shoe. Okay, it's a neutral road running shoe from Saucony. And it's definitely, definitely neutral. Watch this. This is one way to test your shoes at home. Basically just the basic twist test. That is a pretty major twist action happening there through that and it's like doing the doing a dance there is no stability so if you need stability this is not the shoe for you it's a very very loosey-goosey midsole as i like to say okay a few specs real quick looking at a four millimeter drop from heel to toe 23 in the in the heel uh, 19 in the forefoot for that four millimeter drop it was a it was a nice ride today that drop felt uh felt good today um, and then for weight, we're looking at 7.8 ounces in men's size 9 and 6.9 ounces in women's size 8. Okay, on to that upper. Uh, it's a pretty basic upper. Nothing crazy to write home about. It's an engineered mesh up here through the toe box and the midfoot. Uh, the heel counter was very comfortable, very comfortable today. And as I already mentioned inside, the tongue is gusseted to the uh, to the inner wall, meaning it's attached to the inner wall of the of the upper. And I must say, these gusseted tongues that continue to arrive on the running shoe marketplace, I am starting to lean in the direction of really looking for shoes that have gusseted tongues. I don't know. I just like. It feels like the tongue is. Um, more one with the rest of the shoe, with uh, the rest of the upper, and I'll come back to that in a minute. 
And lastly, on the upper, oh yeah, well, there is a hole there at the top for the runner's knot. That's good uh, because the Nike React Infinity Run Flying It, the, the shoe that I just finished testing, did not have a, a, uh, a hole on the top of the eyelet chain and for that runner's knot, and it was driving me a little insane. So I'm glad there's a hole up there. And then lastly on the upper, the overlays are very, very minimal, okay? Not much overlay action, and what are, what are overlays? It's the rubber or pl sometimes plastic on other shoes. Like sometimes, I think Asics has a few shoes that the overlays can really be built up. And it's basically this, this, uh, this design here just to give a little more form to the, uh, to the upper material. And moving on to that midsole, I'm gonna put it in again, kind of that simplified category of midsoles. Nothing crazy going on. That's why it's got a little bit of dancing action there when I do the twist. And uh, it's an EVA midsole foam is the, is the actual material, what they call EVA plus. Uh, so again, four millimeter drop through the midsole. I'm not sure what else to tell you. I'll get to my thoughts here in a second on the overall ride, but um, yeah, that's the midsole. EVA midsole, nothing crazy to write home about there. On to the outsole. So, you know what it reminds me of, that outsole? Can anybody guess? Can anybody guess? The beacon. Do I have a beacon? Yes, I have a beacon. There we go. So, are you noticing what's similar here? So, exposed uh, midsole foam through that outsole, and then a little bit of rubber protection in the heels on both of these shoes, and the beacon is from New Balance, in case you didn't know, and then some rubber through the uh, toe box, uh, through the forefoot, right there on the bottom of the outsole. So immediately, as I pulled the Kinvara 11 out of the, I'll just set that there, as I pulled the Kinvara 11 out of the box today, I was like, whoa, that's the bottom of the beacon, in my opinion. And again, nothing crazy. Um, you probably aren't gonna wanna run on too much snow and ice like I did today with that type of outsole, but I felt fine on the kind of wetter sections of the pavement today. For the fit, I went true to size, absolutely spot on, and my heel was not slipping at all uh, through this heel counter, so really good there. Uh, and then also, okay, comforts, back to comfort. I just gotta say, the tongue, and I I remember this in the uh, the Fast Twitch lineup as well from Saucony. It seems like Saucony is really nailing the tongue of their, their running shoe lineup, at least the, one, the, the shoes that I have tested from Saucony. Really comfortable tongue. Uh, just like it's a little, it's a little extra padding, which probably makes a, the shoe a little heavier. But I'm usually, I'm willing to add a little bit of weight to a shoe if it means the shoe's just going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more comfortable. So really enjoyed the tongue of the shoe. Again, it's gusseted, and so it just, I don't know, um, that little extra padding plus the connection to the rest of the shoe was just spot on. Okay, positives, real quick, uh, lightweight shoe, very lightweight. And when I tried to go a little faster today and get up on my, my forefoot, you know, I'm doing some forefoot practice in early 2020 for some speed in the racing. Uh, it just, the ride was spot on. It just was spot on. And for the drawbacks, zero. No drawbacks at this point for the Saucony Kinvara 11. Again, we'll see what happens after 50 miles. How will I use this shoe moving forward? Tempo days, yeah. It could be an easy day shoe. It's, and for me, it's not a long run shoe, okay? It's not quite enough midsole protection for a long run, but tempo days because of how lightweight it is. And it has, I have to do more testing, but it felt like it had a little, a pop, uh, not pop, um, hmm, not snap either, but just, it felt like I could, I could go if I wanted to. Uh, I don't know, it's hard to describe. I'll have some better description after 50 miles. So a tempo day, or if you're looking for a shoe to protect your legs, for a train through 5K or 10K, meaning you're tuning up for a half marathon, this could be a shoe for you, but you don't want your legs to get too beat up. Uh, this could work for kind of a, um, a, a tune up 5K or 10K. And also, if you're looking for an affordable half marathon shoe, okay, we'll just go there right now, $110. This could be an affordable half marathon racing shoe. I really think so. I, now, it, it is neutral. Keep that in mind. So make sure your ankles are nice and strong. But um, I think you could take this up to a half marathon. And now, it's not the lightest shoe out there on the market, but it would do the trick for a half marathon. And um, yeah, I really do. Th I really think so. I think that that 23 millimeter and 19 millimeter stack height is enough protection 
for the half marathon distance for your legs. And last but not least, conclusion on the performance after the first run. Again, we'll keep rolling with it, but uh, it felt as I was taking the shoe off after the run, I was just thinking, what makes this shoe stand out to me? And it's um, it was the the way, and it was probably going, okay, going back, I know I keep saying it, going back to the gusseted tongue, it was the way the upper was working with the midsole. It felt like uh, on the inside of the shoe that the, the inner uh, the inner wall of the upper material was one with the midsole, meaning it, it kind of all flowed together, meaning the shoe was really, really comfortable. And I loved, I was, I, I'm actually, frankly, everyone, I was a little shocked. I was, after the voting today, okay, I'll just say, I was hoping everyone was going to pick the A6 EVO, uh, yeah, EVO uh, ride, A6 EVO ride. And, uh, but after everyone chose the Saucony Canvara 11, sure enough, I took it out and I am pleasantly surprised, everyone. So we'll get it to 50 miles, I do believe, sooner rather than later. Question of the day, Saucony fans, it's time to come out and force down in the comments. What Saucony running shoe are you running in right now and or racing in right now and why? Okay, why do you love that Saucony shoe? And if you've never uh, trained or raced in a Saucony shoe, now is the time to go down into the, into the comments and start chiming into the, the comments from the real solid uh, Saucony fans to learn about their lineup. I'm excited for Saucony in 2020. I think I said at the beginning of this year that uh, I predict Saucony is going to be pushing the envelope forward for a lot of their a lot of their shoes in their lineup. So there you go. First impressions of the Saucony Kinvara 11. All right, we're going to actually close it out there. Vlog is over. It's a Sunday. I'm going to go watch the Super Bowl. I hope you guys had a great weekend, and uh, we'll toss it back on the right to the first impression playlist, all the first impression shoes that I've done over the past couple years. That'll be on the right, and then on the left, we'll toss it back to uh, you know what, the last sock and issue I tested out, which frankly, I don't even remember which one it was, but it'll be on the left. All right, everyone, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.